snowy outside, there's the Snake River Canyon. I kind of got caught off guard because I just got an offer out of my house on my home and I'm trying to move out of it as soon as possible. And I'll hit the road in a couple weeks. So I'm not quite finished moving in. That's my Road Pro. I like to cook with it as I drive. That's my son, 30-something years ago, and he's the reason I named my channel like it is. Because someday, I want him to find this channel and see what his mother has been up to. Those are my bottles for washing dishes, but I haven't emptied them yet and filled them with vinegar and water. I have some supplies down there, my blood pressure monitor. Let's go over here. There's my step stool that was made for me many years ago so that I can reach my bed because it's up high. And I apologize, I can't stand straight and very well. painted this dresser. Now let me show you a few items I have. My drawers are a mess and they're not complete because we had a snowstorm outside today and I was also moving into my storage and so I didn't get everything packed. There's a little can opener. This is a little um, a wind cover for my Dough, matches, gel heat, some spray bottles, got a couple of maps, there's some foil for cooking, here's a whole lot of my tools that are supposed to be in the back, some laundry soap, wipes, I have some more tools down here, and oh, no telling what all. and some clips. And let's see what we can see down here. I have some propane and that is my shower. I'll do a video on that for you later. I have a lot of food down there. This is a foldable shower. It's called a pet pole and it will go down here. And I have hooks that you can't see up there and it holds. If you look at my previous video van tour, You'll see where I showed you that I hang up my PVC pipe on these hooks and it and it makes a rectangle and then I can have the shower curtain. So my Reflectix is a mess and it's I can't, couldn't put it in the window yet because this mattress is a regular twin size mattress and it barely fits in side to side. And I need to take the end out when I have somebody to help me because it's in so tight, I can't get it loose. And I'm going to cut open the end and take out a row of coils. And then I can get my window covers in. I'm also making some new professional window covers that I need to sew as soon as I can. This is my Isaco fridge. It's a 75 liter dual zone with dual lids and they open on either side. It's really cool. I'm sorry I can't show you right now. Uh, that's my Clorox wipes etc in there.
I had some real pretty lights that hang down. You've seen the type, they just string down. And I did not realize they were solar. I have to charge them by solar first before I can put them up. You probably can't see it, but there's a row of lights, which is the other side of the canyon. But do you see that light below? In the video, it looks kind of blue or green or something, but it's not. I'm not sure if that's someone out there. Maybe they're snow camping. That's the edge of the canyon on this side. So I better leave and go to another location so that I can finish my video. If I went down this road to the right, it goes way down into the canyon where some real nice homes are. It's proper, private property down there. So this is the canyon. And all those lights you see over here, that's Twin Falls, Idaho, where I have been living and I just am selling my house right now. It closes in a few days. I'm now at a safer location and I can finish. Okay, this is my garage, but it's not really packed correctly yet. And there's some things missing. I'll give you a quick rundown. I've got a foldable shovel here. I had bought them as a pair from Costco. I've got the refillable sin cylinder and kit, the one pound. And this is a stand, so you can take your bigger thing and turn it upside down here and fill from your bigger one to the little one. I also have this one. I don't know what it's called, a five pound. I really don't know. It costs more than the other one, though. Okay. Uh, let's get this out of the way. I've got my, one of my water jugs here. My shower shoes. Okay, I can't really see it real good, but that's my foldable toilet. Okay. My Rithelectix covers. My hose for filling up my water. I just stuffed these in here, but they're not going to go in here. All this toilet paper. More than I need. A towing cord. A lot of stuff down here. I have in this bag right here, in this bag right here, I have a, a real down sleeping bag. And my refrigerator is back there. I have some drill bits and a whole bunch of tools. I know this is not very good. I've got a lot of food back here. I've got a blender. This is for plugging in at an RV spot. This is my fire extinguisher. There's my induction stove top. And I have my stove. And I have a lot of food. I made my own bed, of course, don't we all? And uh, it has slats across it for, you can't see under there, it has slats for air. And if you look over here, you can see I made it removable so that I can just pull it out. Now we'll see if we can look at the front. my curtains all around it doesn't give total privacy I have to have the covers on but I have the covers where I can't get to them right now but I want to do a video to show you how I did my curtains all throughout the van sorry 
and I want to show you the, how to do those. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it.